All right, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's the winter season here and lots of snow, lots of inclement weather. Hard to do any real autopilot videos in that regard, but we're back at it nonetheless. Uh, we have the latest update here, 2019 40.2.1. Let's check it out right now. All right, 2019 40.2.1 has a, a bunch of new features. Let's just jump into the one by one. First and foremost, we have the adjacent lane speed. This is a new feature that basically says when your car is on autopilot or navigate on autopilot, and it senses that the cars in the adjacent lane are moving at a, at a slower speed than you, autopilot will automatically adjust the speed for you. It says that when your vehicle is moving at significantly faster speed than the vehicles in neighboring lanes, autopilot now reduces your driving speed. This is helpful in heavy traffic situations or when there's a long line of vehicles merging into a different lane or exiting on an off ramp. When your vehicle detects the adjacent lane traffic, it's significantly slower. The lane is highlighted with arrows and its vehicles are highlighted gray in the driving visualization. The speed adjustment can be temporarily overridden by pressing the accelerator pedal. So we'll check that out when we jump on the highway. We also have automatic wiper improvements. Uh, this is basically saying wipers have been improved to be more likely to activate when it's slightly raining and respond to changes in rain intensity for more environments. This automatic wipers are now employing the first production deep neural net trained with over 1 million images of the detection of water droplets on the windshield and additional weather cues. If automatic wipers is not performing to your preference, any manual adjustment to the wiper speed can be captured for further improvement to train the neural network for future software iterations. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But a quick note to, for everyone who's just maybe new to Tesla, who just bought their Tesla, and this is not something that they typically advertise when you buy a Tesla, and that is the fact that the Tesla wiper system is not like traditional wiper systems. Okay, so if you've just bought your Tesla, this is something you probably wouldn't have read, heard about unless you read the manual. But the idea behind it is that at some point at, during the refresh of refresh of Model S and the advent of Model 3, um, there was an improvement or an update to the camera systems. Uh, and thusly, they removed the rain sensor. So if you have an older Model S or X with Autopilot Hardware 1, I believe, fact, fact check me on that. Uh, you have a traditional rain sensor where just like other, any other car, the rain sensor is up here by the cameras or by on the windshield, detects rain, and it, it triggers the wipers to do some action. And the more rain it detects, the faster it, it actuates the wipers. Tesla has introduced a vision-based wiper system, again, unbeknownst to most people, where they're using the cameras. So there's no rain sensor in your car. There's just the cameras, and the camera looks at the patterns on the windshield uh, to determine how fast or how slow the wiper should actuate. So it's a vision-based system, just like autopilot and eventually full self-driving will be a vision-based system, not a sensor-based system, okay? So this is something that you should note. These wiper improvements are intended to make your wipers more effective and more, mimic more like the scenarios of traditional wiper sensors. All right, so again, if you have a new car, hardware two and above for any future people watching this video, um, you're going to have the, the vision based system. If you have something less than hardware two in terms of your autopilot setup and cameras, you're going to have a traditional rain sensor. The other thing they have is automatic lane change improvements. Automatic lane changes have been tuned to make lane changes with more confidence. When the adjacent lane is detected to be open, automatic lane change will initiate faster and be more assertive. This is very, very interesting and would love to test this out and see how this does. Okay, auto steer stop sign warning. Your car may warn you in some cases when it detects that you are about to run a stop sign in addition to stop lights while auto steer is in use. This is not a substitute for an attentive driver and will not stop the car. So this is a feature that they seem to be um, resurrecting. It's already been introduced a while ago. Uh, there seem to be shining more attention to it. Maybe they refined it, made some updates. So basically this means that if you're driving on a road on autopilot and you're potentially coming up to a stop, sign or stop light it will recognize it as such and prompt you to put on the brakes okay and tell or tell you that you're about to run a red light and show something in the visualization again this was already released a while ago i can't remember how how long ago it was but it was a while ago maybe even over a year ago and now they're just re bringing this back up and maybe this is specific to model three and now they're reintroducing it i'm not sure we'll jump into that as well see if we can't trigger this to work 
Okay, so those are pretty much all the latest features. Everything else is just bug fixes and updates. So let's jump right into it one by one. All right, so there you have it, the auto steer stoplight warning, showing a symbol of the stoplight right here and urging me to take over. Uh, I'm almost halfway into the uh, the crosswalk here, so I would love for this to happen a lot sooner uh, and when it sees me approaching a red light. Um, even if you can adjust it in the settings to warn you a lot sooner, the same way you can with collision detection as well as emergency braking. Um, it works. So it does tell you to take over, does alert your attention because I'm about to run the light, but would love to see that happen a lot sooner or at least give you the option to make it happen a lot sooner um, if you don't apply the brakes within a certain distance of that light. Again, I was almost in the uh, crosswalk uh, when they told me to stop. And if I was not as responsive, I probably would have ran the light, got into a car accident or something like that. So definitely uh, great to see that it works. Uh, would love to see it happen, um, you know, just a little bit sooner or give you the option to tweak it uh, based on how you are, how responsive you are as an individual. All right, so we're checking out autopilot and we're gonna check out the new auto lane change. So I'll engage right now once I get to proper speed. Okay. So I'm at speed going to make a lane change to see how aggressive uh, this particular lane change feature is just on standard autopilot first I'll signal lane change no one's near me wow instantaneous okay I like that I like that instantaneous lane change when the lane is available no thinking no hesitation no waiting immediately makes the lane change I'll try again back into the left lane. Again, immediately into the, the, the lane. Immediately into the lane. Exactly how it should be. A lot nat more natural, a, mo a lot more human-like in the way that it makes the lane changes now. This is pretty awesome. I like it. I'll activate some Navigate on Autopilot really quickly. And I'll get out of this lane just to get there. Car is coming up pretty aggressively behind me, but let's see what happens. Pretty crazy drivers. All right, so I'll activate, navigate an autopilot. Right now, truck is in front of me. I'll boost my speed up to 10 miles over. Let's see what it does, just to try to trigger it to in, to initiate the auto lane change. Still keeping its distance from trucks, which is good. No regressions there. Centers itself now back in the lane once the truck has been passed. Car coming up on the left, and we also have some traffic coming up as well. So it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Not yet signaling me for the lane change, for auto lane change. Hopefully we'll do so soon before the traffic hits. I'm gonna confirm and immediately makes the lane change. Awesome. That's the way it should be. So this is a great improvement actually. This is a great improvement just because of the immediacy of which it makes lane changes. It's gonna prompt me to go into the next lane. I'm not going to do that one right now just because I know it's a merge coming up and I don't wanna see it deal with that scenario. So I'll keep it where it is now. I'll cancel this lane change, continue straight forward, and continue testing lane change capabilities in varying traffic degrees. Going a little bit slower, I'll wait for a clearing and then make another lane change, 
going a slower speed to see what that's like. As a matter of fact, I'll just initiate it right now and see what see if it finds an opening. Let's see what it does. Finds a little bit of an opening. Wow. Okay, great. Jumps right in. Jumps right in. Finds an opening and jumps right into the opening. That was pretty good. Pretty good so far. Start to see a little line there just a second ago. There we go. It shows that the this lane is moving slower. But I don't know that it's going to actually slow down as a result. It would just indicate that, hey, this lane is moving a little bit slower than the lane that I'm currently in. So that's pretty cool, the visualization to see that. I think if I was on the other side, on this in this lane, and the slow lane was here, and I had to get off, it might make some adjustments in terms of speed. But right now, my max speed is still set. The speed that it's carrying me is the speed of the traffic. And it doesn't se didn't seem like it was making any additional adjustments based on the slower lane next to me. Well, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, I think potentially a fluke, but it looked like the uh, lane markings got wide again and it actually went straight as opposed to trying to merge inside the merging lane line. That might be the major fix we've been looking for, but let's see if we see it again. Again, immediate lane changes. This is pretty awesome. Car feels more confident making the lane change, makes it aggressively just the way it should. Here's a good test for the verging lane lines coming up. Wow, it, it, it looks like it fixed it. It centers me, but it doesn't search to center me, which is the which is better behavior than searching. That's actually pretty cool. Another merge is going to come up up here. We'll see if this persists in terms of this behavior, especially at these slower speeds. Let's see what happens. Let's also test that auto lane change at slower speeds as well. Okay, lots of good visualization here. All four lanes visualized, merging visualized. Lots of cars being visualized, not quite all the lanes. The far left lane is not visualized. So far, so good. No, no, no glitches, no jumping cars. Everything seems fine there. Bad driver still, but no glitching cars. At a slower speed, we'll engage, auto lane change, gets over pretty quickly and makes pretty a sharper turn than it typically would before. So that's pretty cool. Prompting me to get over. Let's see what happens. I might get all the way almost to a stop and try to get over. Let's see if I initiate now what happens. Cars behind me. Wow, aggressive. Very aggressive turn to get in. And again, crazy driver. Sorry about that, people. Pretty aggressive turn. I like that. I don't have Mad Max turned on, which is not necessarily the aggressiveness of the turning, but the frequency in which it makes lane changes. Gets me over into my exit. Wow, it's pretty aggressive too, but also composed and controlled. Keeps me centered, but doesn't fish. It's a wider lane line and then resume. So that's pretty good. All right, so let's jump into the automatic wipers. Now, as I mentioned before, vision-based system for wipers, instead of a traditional sensor-based method where they have a rain sensor, detects the rain, actuates the wipers, this is using a vision-based system, uh, using the cameras to be able to see what's on the actual windshield and actuate the wipers accordingly. And what they've done with this latest update is they've actually enhanced the neural net or the brains, if you will, of the car itself and the wipers to be able to teach and train more scenarios of what dr rain droplets look like so it can be more precise and accurate in the way that it actuates the wipers. Now for us, we've had a car with hardware one and now hardware two and 2.5 and hardware three and all the rest. So we've had a long range of different cars with different options in them. 
Uh, for the first set of wipers that we had for Hardware One, they're pretty great because they're used sensors and they work as wipers should work. The new ones have been problematic, but not so much at, in the daytime. In the daytime, they're pretty normal and standard. Light rain, heavy rain, um, you can always adjust it manually, no problem. Where we found that the wipers actually broke down in terms of the usefulness has been at night. At night, because it's a vision-based system, depending on where the light is refracting off the window, whether it see, shows that there's more raindrops than there isn't, I'm not sure, but basically the nighttime, these wipers are pretty, pretty bad. Uh, to be quite frank, they're pretty bad at night prior to this update. We're going to test them at night with this update to see if there's any difference. And really what it comes down to is as the rain intensifies or lightens at night, the car has the same level of intensity. It doesn't seem to react well. It doesn't seem to be able to recognize the different intensities and therefore it's less useful. During the day, not, not so much a problem. It works just like a regular wiper system. You wouldn't know unless someone told you. So here we are at night. Um, it is raining. It's not raining very hard, and it seems as though this new system um, doesn't, still doesn't allow it to see enough of the rain on the screen, on the windshield, to be able to start you know, sending the command to do windshield wipers. I'll press the button to try to trigger it. Still doesn't do anything. So really what it comes down to is the ability for the car to see or be shown um, patterns of rain on the windshield and the system to be able to recognize it and, and actuate the wipers accordingly. All right, so that's it. That's the latest update, 2019 40.2.1. If you have this update or a similar update, leave some comments below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know anything that you may have found, any bugs or regressions that we can help bring to light to Tesla uh, through these videos and through social sharing. Until the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.